I'm going in tonight. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. So, as you all know, I have insomnia. So, I'm usually up, like, really energetic around about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sometimes 3. But I had to do a couple of things this afternoon. So, now I'm here to give you the news. So, as you all know, there was backlash with the Juneteenth ice cream that was distributed and sold at various Walmarts. So, today, actually an hour ago, in Los Angeles, according to Fox 11, Los Angeles, it has been reported that Walmart pulls Juneteenth ice cream at the backlash. And in quotations, we sincerely apologize. Photos of the product recently surfaced on social media. Share or celebrate African-American culture, emancipation, and enduring hope, the label read. The ice cream consisted of a swirl of red velvet and cheesecake flavors. Juneteenth holiday marks a celebration of freedom and independence, the company said in a statement to Fox television stations. However, we received back feedback that a few items caused concern for some of our customers, and we sincerely apologize. We are reviewing our assortment and will remove items as appropriate. Juneteenth commemorates June 19, 1865, when Union soldiers brought the news of freedom to enslaved black people in Galveston, Texas, two months after the Confederacy had surrendered. It was about two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation freed slaves in southern states. Last year, President Joe Biden signed a bill creating Juneteenth National Independence Day. Since June 19th fell on a Saturday, the government observed the holiday Friday. At least nine states have designated it in law as an official paid holiday, state holiday. But all but one of those states acting after George Floyd, a black man was killed previous two years ago in Minneapolis. Now, that's all well that they pulled the ice cream. And the ice cream made its debut last week. But they should have never, ever, ever made its debut. It should never even be created. First of all, this was horrible, horrible idea to do. Juneteenth should not be a capitalism holiday. I don't care what anyone say. Yes, I believe that small businesses should definitely sell products, should definitely have festivals, should definitely, you know, um, create different cuisines since around Juneteenth, different costumes, different items of heritage pertaining to Juneteenth. But it should not be a get quick scheme, get rich, make a buck type of holiday. It's extremely sacred. This this has been going on and it's been celebrated for over 150, oh no, it will be 150 years come 2025, okay? You have July 4th to do that, okay? You have Christmas, you have Thanksgiving, you have President's Day sales. We don't need Juneteenth to become that, okay? Like, yes, I'm all for it being a national holiday because it happened in this country. And those people in Texas, they were enslaved in what? The United States of America when slavery was legal, okay? So it should have been a national holiday a long time ago. And I know a lot of people don't like the idea of it. And I totally understand because of mess like this happening, okay? But see, here's the thing with the Juneteenth ice cream. The Juneteenth ice cream is bigger than just Walmart selling this ice cream. Did you know that there's a pattern? There's a patent called Juneteenth. There's a patent called Juneteenth from a company called Backham. So I did research. And in this very article that I'm going to actually post on my page, you're going to see the Twitter post. And, you know, Twitter, I have a Twitter account, 
but Twitter is just filthy as um, it's <laughs> Twitter is is vulgar. Okay, so you know you have your little internet trolls on Twitter, and they like to post things. So some guy named Mullet O'Brien made this post, and it re- reads Juneteenth is a flavor enhancer, and this is a trademark overview. On Thursday, September 2nd, 2021, a trademark application was filed for Juneteenth with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. The United States Patent and Trademark Office has given the Juneteenth trademark a serial number of 97008500. The federal status of this trademark filing is suspension letter mailed as of Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021. This trademark is owned by the Balkan corporation and that's spelled b-a-l-c-h-e-m the juneteen trademark filed in the staple food products category with the following description flavor enhancers used in food and beverage products products bakery goods and dessert items namely cakes cookies pastries and frozen confections for retail and wholesale distribution and consumption on or off the premises is gluten, candies, and popcorn. So, this is what happens when you don't own your culture. You get nonsense like this. Juneteenth shouldn't be a trademark. It should be banned from being trademarked. Why is a corporation that is, let's be real, white-owned, owning something as sacred as this? See, here's the problem. Nobody really thought Juneteenth was going to become a national holiday. If you go back four years ago, Juneteenth was celebrated throughout the nation, but it wasn't nationally recognized. I've been to a couple of Juneteenth celebrations in New York City. I've been to the um, Juneteenth parade three times. It was a small parade in New York City. It's not like black people outside of Texas didn't celebrate Juneteenth. But the media never gave it attention. And when I mean media, I'm speaking of national media outlets. It was just your local black-owned media outlets that were giving it attention. If the people who have been promoting Juneteenth owned and trademarked it, then that would have been one thing. You wouldn't have what you have now. You wouldn't have Walmart basically saying, oh, we're going to make a Juneteenth ice cream and we're going to have a flavor. Who the hell eats red velvet cheesecake? You know, and I'm talking about in terms of black community. Like, we like our red velvet, but cheesecake is really not our thing. I mean, if you were really going to be committed to making this kind of product, number one, you should have had chocolate. You should have had chocolate ice cream with... um. Caramel ice cream, different flavors, different colors of brown, okay? And different flavors of ice cream that will have the different shades of brown, okay? Red and white, okay, I get why they did that because of the colors, but at the same time, the cheesecake to me, no. It should have just been brown. It should have been chocolate with, um, with a caramel ice cream, With another type of ice cream that's a a brown. It should have been various shades of brown, in my opinion. That's just how I feel. That's just the way I feel. Now, maybe people may may feel different. They may think it should have been red, green, and and, and gold. But I'm sticking it should have been chocolate-based to represent us. But, hey, when you have people that's not from your culture that co-opts it, this is what you get. And there's more of it. You're probably going to have Juneteenth sneakers coming out. You're going to probably have a Juneteenth bubble coat, even though Juneteenth is in June. You're probably going to have a Juneteenth hairstyle coming out. The Juneteenth fashion show on, um, on what, um, on, um, not BET, but on, um, the major networks, MTV. You're going to have a whole bunch of stuff because the people who was really running it, they didn't foresee the future. And had the George Floyd riots and BLM protested throughout the world, really throughout the world, did not happen, you wouldn't have never even had people say, okay, June 19th, 
we're walking off the job. We're basically, we're, we're, we're going to celebrate. That's how it got attention. So if the cop who killed George Floyd, if that would have never happened, we wouldn't be celebrating Juneteenth. We wouldn't have had this. And that's what happens. You got to own your culture. You got to protect it. It's not about making money. Because I know some people don't want to make money from it. But you got to protect it so that if you decide to do business deals, you don't have people creating phony, reckless things such as this. That's disgusting that Juneteenth is trademark. As a flavor enhancer. That's sad. That's sad. And a company selling ice cream that pays minimum wage. And minimum wage in most states is not $15. Minimum wage is like $9, $8. And some states don't have to pay you if they don't want to. A lot of people don't know that. They don't have to pay you if they don't want to. That's slavery all over again. So I have an issue with that. I have an issue with that. And the last thing I want to leave is that the timing of this was bad because this ice cream made its debut the same week of the shootings that happened in Buffalo. And I don't like, and many people don't like the symbols. We don't need symbolism as a way of defining our justice. We need actual laws being passed. We need laws of protection for black people. You know, an ice cream ain't going to stop supremacists from from targeting black people. It's going to actually make them even more upset. You got the ice cream for Juneteenth, or you had it, actually next to the Pride ice cream. Because both events occur in June. You understand? So you know the white supremacists was doubly mad over that. And, you know, it's a lesson, you know, gatekeep your culture so stuff like this doesn't happen. So you don't have to get mad when a multi-billion dollar company sells a product in your culture's name. And with that being said, I'm signing off. Thank you for listening to this upload. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care.